Hi, my name is Attorney Walter of Not the Third. We're going to be now doing question 126 of the top 200 most common Social Security disability hearing questions. Let's go ahead and go through this. This is a question about drinking. If you quit, when and how did you quit? Okay, so the judge is looking for you to give some sort of professional reasoning as to why you actually quit. And a lot of you guys are going to say, oh, I was just strong. I was very strong. I stopped drinking. Well, okay, well, so, so you're drinking for how many years? 15 years? 20 years? Remember, then you're going to have to split it up into the explanation of, well, I was, I was only drinking for, let's say, uh, you know, five years as a heavy drinker versus the past 30 years as just a light social drinker. How does that sound? Now we're talking about you as a heavy drinker in recent years. <clears throat> or another classic one is, uh, I was just strong, Your Honor. I didn't want to live that life anymore. I wanted to go ahead and uh, change the way things were. I wanted to live a better life for myself. Okay, so then uh, the judge will then be thinking, okay, so you as an individual, uh, if you're receiving Social Security disability benefits, you're going to spend it on alcohol? Then the question comes into their mind usually about, okay, so what kind of drinks did this person have? Uh, these were alcoholic drinks, so it could be shots. Okay, it's easy to buy a, a very large bottle if you have disability money. What about beers? Okay, so now we're both buying lots and lots and lots of cans. Um, okay, so, uh, Shadow, what? What do you want? You want up? All right, come here. Come, come. I'll give you a kick later. Oh, get your butt up there. Okay, okay. All right, so comfy, very good. So what this means is we're now looking at the situation of, okay, so now the judge is going, okay, what were these shots? Were these wine glasses? You know, a lot of the female claimants we get, well, I was drinking a bottle of wine, you know? A lot of the male claimants, oh, whiskey, oh, tequila, oh, I like beer, blah, blah, blah. These are kind of traditional uh, things that we see. We're looking for Alcoholics Anonymous classes, AA classes. We're looking for... I was assigned a buddy that I talk to whenever I feel the need to go utilize and drink alcohol to get rid of my urge. Um, these are the things we're looking for because otherwise, it's hard to believe a drunk. It is. It's hard to de facto side with a lush who has lied many times in their past to support their habit. It's, it's, it's hard to believe them. And, and I want to I wanna point something out to you guys. Alcohol is usually more accessible than drugs. Maybe you can make the argument for cigarettes. I don't know. I think cigarettes are pretty much equivalent when it comes to obtaining them from other people. Alcohol the same. Maybe cigarettes are easier because they're smaller to hide and then hand off to somebody. But the bottom line is when it comes to alcohol, it's, it's one of those things where it's, it's easy to get. And if you're sitting there going, no, it's not, okay, well, how many high school kids that are underage get it? I know I did, right? I, I know the person on the other side, unless you lived in the, the, the backwoods of Washington, which is probably one of the highest rates of alcohol abuse, you know, but that, that kind of goes with the farm life usually. Not that I'm calling anybody out. I grew up on a farm. But the bottom line is, it's easy to get this stuff. Ergo, the issue of you magically beating it on your own. That's a tough one to stomach. That is the question that you'll usually get at the hearing. Okay, we're going to go into question 27. Have an absolutely wonderful day, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.